So this question was asked in gate 2016 electronics and communication engineering paper set 3 in which you have given a signal x of n which is equal to 2 to the power mod of n then you need to find out the ROC of its Z transform and in the options you have given the ROC is the shaded region in the Z plane. So you need to choose the correct option from these four options. Now the NPT reference for this question is Principles of Signal and Systems by Professor Aditya Jagannatham, IIT Kanpur. You can find reference in the lecture Z transform. So the useful data for this question is if you have given a signal x of n which is equal to a to the power n u of n this signal is your right handed signal because when you put n less than 0 then this signal value of this signal will be 0 because u of n is 0 when n less than 0. So when n less than 0 then this signal is the value of this signal is 0. So this is your case of right handed signal. And the Z transform of this signal is given by Z by Z minus A. And the ROC of this Z transform will be given by mod of Z is greater than mod of A. Where A is the pole of this transform. Pole of this transform. This transform. So mod of Z is greater than mod of A means that, that the ROC should be outer to its pole. So in the complex Z plane, you can draw this pole by a circle whose radius is given by the value of pole that is A and the ROC will be represented as mod of Z is greater than mod of A. So this area is the ROC of this Z transform that is outer to its pole which is A outer to its pole. So this is your ROC of this Z transform. This transform. Now the second useful data for this question is if you have given a signal X of N which is equal to minus A to the power N U of minus N minus 1 then this signal is your left handed signal because when n greater than 0 then u of minus n minus 1 is equal to 0. So your x of n is also 0. So this is the case of left handed signals and the z transform of this signal will be given by same as the z transform of a to the power n u of n which is z by z minus but the ROC of this signal is given by mod of Z is less than mod of A. That means that the ROC is inner to its pole. Inner to its pole. So if you draw the pole in the complex Z plane and it is the real axis of Z and this is imaginary of axis of Z and if this is the circle for this pole A then the inner part of this circle represents ROC of this Z transform. Now coming to the solution in the question you have given X of N is equal to 2 to the power mod of N. So you can write this as 2 to the power minus N when your N belongs to minus infinity to 0 and 2 to the power n where your n belongs to 0 to infinity. So your x of n basically is the summation of two signal which one is 2 to the power n u of n plus 2 to the power minus n u of minus n minus 1. So it is the summation of right handed signal and the left handed signal. Now the Z transform of this right handed signal that is 2 to the power n u of n is given by Z over Z minus 2 and the ROC of this Z transform will be given by mod of Z is greater than 2. Similarly, the Z transform of this left handed signal which is 2 to the power minus n u of minus n minus 1 will be given by Z over Z minus 1 over 2 
and the ROC of this Z transform will be given by mod of Z is less than 1 by 2. Now, when you draw the corresponding circles in the Z plane, corresponding Z plane, then you get, let's say, if it is the circle for pole 1 by 2 and the bigger circle for pole which is z equal to 2. Now the first ROC should be mod of z is greater than 2 that means the first ROC should be this uh, represented by this area which is mod of z is greater than mod of 2. So this is your ROC 1. Now the second ROC is given as mod of z is less than 1 by 2 which is inner to the pole inner to the circle which has radius 1 by 2 so this is your ROC 2 now when you see this these two ROC there is no intersection point between these two ROC so there is no ROC for this Z transform so ROC with ROC does not exist does not exist for this Z, for this Z transform because there is no intersection between these two ROC that is ROC 1 and ROC 2. So the correct answer for this question is option D where ROC does not exist.